if you've been unlucky enough to have to rebuild your home kit home you'll know that finding your home kit codes can be a pain in this video we're going to show you how to make sure those are only ever one tap away Hey, Chris Young here from Home Kit Geek, the channel bringing you new smart home content every single week. If that interests you, consider subscribing below. In this video, we're going to make it a lot easier for you to get your home kit codes back up and running when you're recovering from a disaster. If you've got the old style code, there's really not much we can do other than just writing that to the NFC tag, in which case it's just a tap away. But if you have the new style code, the QR code, this is actually a custom scheme that your Apple iPhone will interpret to say, hey, open up the Apple Home app and add it using this HomeKit code, which is really cool. So for those of you out there who have HomePass, awesome app, it's great. Not always easy when you're trying to rebuild anything and you've got a ton of devices. Uh, for those of you who say, well, hey, the HomeKit code is actually on the back of my devices. It's not always there in all cases. For instance, the LifeX light bulb, not there. Not that you can scan. Uh, in some cases, there are plugs where it's on the bottom of the plug or sometimes even on the back of the plug as it's attached to the wall. So using this little trick, it'll make it a lot easier for you to just tap your device and add it back to HomeKit when you're recovering from a bad thing. 